Hello and welcome. I'm Dennis Quinley with Brentwood's Water and Wastewater Division. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a Brentwood tube settler module and discuss how to assemble it. First, you'll need a table made of steel or wood, which is long enough and deep enough to accommodate the size module you'll be assembling. We recommend that it has a back like this one to make sheet alignment easier, but it isn't necessary. When assembling a Brentwood tube settler, it's important to understand there are two different sheet types, wave sheets and corrugated sheets. A unique feature of our wave sheet is the dedicated glue joints, which precisely align with the raised portion of the corrugated sheet. Today, we'll be assembling a 12 inch wide module, so we'll need five of each sheet type. To bond them together, we'll use a solvent adhesive, which is a mixture of PVC resin and solvent. We'll dispense it onto the tube settler sheets using a bottle like this. It is important to note the direction of the adhesive guides on the wave sheet, as well as the location of the three-quarter cell, the top right, and the one-quarter cell on the bottom left. We have to pay careful attention to the location of these cells throughout the entire assembly process. Now we're ready to start the assembly. We'll take our first wave sheet and we'll move it over to the table. We're going to apply a bead of adhesive along the entire length of all of the guides, making sure the adhesive is applied within a quarter of an inch of the sheet edges. You want a nice, thick line, but don't want it to run outside of the guides. Let me demonstrate. After adhesive is applied to all guides of the first wave sheet, place the corrugated sheet on top of the wave sheet, ensuring the direction of the corrugations aligns with the direction of the guides. If properly placed, the corrugated sheet will nest or lock into the guide of the wave sheet. Now we're going to apply a bead of adhesive along the entire length of the raised corrugations, again ensuring that we're within a quarter of an inch of the sheet edge and making sure the adhesive does not puddle down into the valleys. Now the next wave sheet is rotated 180 degrees from the first one and placed on top of the corrugations. Now the three quarter cell is at the bottom left and the one quarter cell is at the top right with the NSF logo facing upside down. The wave sheet will also nest into the corrugations below. And now we repeat the process applying a bead of adhesive into the guides of the second wave sheet. As we did with the last wave sheet, we'll again rotate the corrugated sheet 180 degrees. Then we place it on the wave sheet, making sure it nests and all the sheets are properly aligned. This process gets repeated until the tube settler is assembled to the desired width.
be sure that you always finish with a corrugated sheet and do not apply adhesive on top of it. Then, place a board on top of the assembled module for 20 to 30 minutes to apply weight and allow the adhesive to dry. For quality control, it's important to ensure that all edge bonds are adhered. Apply additional adhesive to any locations where the sheets are separated and use a clothespin to pinch it tight. Once the adhesive has dried where the clothespins were placed, we're done with the tube settler module assembly. Be sure to allow 24 to 48 hours of cure time before installation and limit handling of the modules. And now we have a finished tube settler module. Thank you for joining us for this demonstration. You can visit our website to learn more about Brentwood tube settlers and other water treatment products.